I think you can do anything you want to these days, and the thing that we want to do is filmmaking. You know, we've got stories to tell. Uh, I came up with a cracker of an idea based loosely on my life story. Dom, I know that this film was about the most underground guy ever, but do you not think that this is maybe a bit too literal? I mean, that's the whole point, man. People go to such elaborate lengths to try and seem intelligent by hiding a message in subtext that ends up being so obvious they may as well have just been literal in the first place, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do, but I think in this case, we're losing the message entirely. Cause you're not underground like a cool guy who's into rare vintage vinyl. You're under the ground, like an unhinged hobo waiting to snatch a child. That's not very nice. Some actors think you can just point a camera at them and shoot whatever they do and poof, it'll be amazing. But as the director, you have to orchestrate all the moving parts from camera to location to lighting. I can't even see you down there, Dom. Well, hit me with a flecky. Dom, at the recce, I said we didn't need a flecky. But after brekkie, on the day of the recce, I said bring a flecky. Yeah, but after brekkie, when you said we need the flecky, I called Becky and said we don't need the flecky. It only take a second to call Becky and ask her for the flecky that we asked to bring at the recce. Yeah, I know, but what the hecky, brah? And it doesn't take just a second to get a flecky. Becky's got to drive from hecky knows where. Okay. We've got to rethink this whole underground thing. Um. I think I'll just step on a needle. Yeah, I do all my own stunts. Dom, accidentally stepping on a needle does not make you a stunt man. Yeah, well, standing behind a camera fucking telling me what to do and how to do it doesn't make you a director either, so... It actually does, though. I'm doing lots in post and lots in pre. Like, maybe I should get a director credit as well. Well, no, I'll give you an editor credit or co-editor credit. Max. So what are you guys working on? Uh, I'm just making a short film, so sorry about it. Yeah, and in fact, I was just saying to Dom that sometimes a script can be useful when making a film. And I was saying to Adrian that I'd feel like, as a performer, more free to just do whatever I want if I wasn't being restricted by a script. Scripts are for basic jerks who don't have a clear vision of the story they're trying to tell. Dom, a, a script is just a blueprint of one's vision. It's a starting point. A worst-case scenario, if all else fails, you've got the script. Giving me a script is like telling a gold miner to only dig there. I mean, what about all this gold over here that they might be missing out on? Shoot me in the head. All right, this is much better. Okay, Dom, you're a pippy, and you've lost your pippy family, and now you're looking for them. And action. What? All right, and cut. I said you're a pippy. You look more like a yabby. Okay? And now you look more like a scampi. That's better. And action. Cut. What's happening, Dom? Speak to me. What the fuck is a pippe? It's like a calm dom, but that's not the point. The point is you need to do something. Okay, you've been one note all day. Where's the vulnerability? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not a vulnerable kind of guy. Yeah, sometimes an actor doesn't go where you need them to go. Um, and that's okay. You know, because you need, as a director, to have a great deal of director tools in your director tool belt. Um, egos are normally a really good place to start because actors have a giant ego. Uh, and that's not such a bad thing. It's not a cynical statement necessarily. Uh, is he talking about you? But you don't have an ego. You're the most egoless person in the world. He's the one with the ego. He's trying to hog all the limelight and win the crowd, make everyone think he's the genius. He's taking advantage of your brilliance, trying to destroy your career. Look at him. He's using you. That's what this is about. You can't trust him. You're better than Adrian. You're better than everyone ever. And the whole world will know your talent once this film is out. Hold strong, bra. Play the game. Relax. Try and look normal. But do whatever the fuck you want to do because you're the only one who's looking out for you, you sexy legend. And to my mind, that is how you get the performance that you need to tell the story every time. If you learn how to access your emotional memory, you could be the next Tom Hardy. You could be Dom Hardy. Dom Hardy? Don't just work the one angle. If something's not working, you switch it up. Play, have fun with it. You're searching for a deeper truth. And when you find it, activate it like an almond. Something happened to you when you were younger. Something involving an older man. Don't go there, bro. Don't turn away from it, Dom. Let it affect you. He was your uncle, wasn't he? No. Sort of. I don't know, why do you even care? He took advantage of you, didn't he? 
He touched you, didn't he? No, I don't. What do you want from me? He touched you, Dom. I hear what you're saying, but what do you want from he me? He touched you, didn't he, Dom? Don't fucking shout at me. No, Dom. No, Dominic, no. You were young. You were a boy. He touched you. How dare he? He touched you, Dominic. What do you want from me? He touched you, didn't he, Dominic? Okay. Dana? Yeah, he touched me. He fucking touched me, okay? He touched me. And you're a peepee looking for his peepee family? And action. finally have the actor in the emotional place that they need to be, that's when you start the scene. What are you, no, what are you doing Capturing a performance is really only the beginning. The edit is where you start to make a film and craft a story. And if something's not working, then you have to be willing to kill some babies. Well, maybe some people don't have like a really good view on what babies are working and what aren't. So maybe other people want to keep some of those babies alive, you know, like just fucking care for them, feed them, you know, protect those babies. Cause those babies are really potentially unique and, and haven't been seen on screen before. You have a goddamn crèche of these babies. And at the end of the day, they have to go home. Like some babies stay breastfed and they co-sleep with their bearded parents. And some babies are put in dumpsters in rainy alleyways with moist cobblestones, Dom. Well, maybe some babies would just appreciate being able to go down to the park in a pram. And some babies never ever stop crying and they need to be pressed on that soft part of their skull until they sleep forevermore. Okay, some babies need to be left in a hot car while mommy goes and plays some TAB. Okay, some babies need to sadly, you know, be left near a fenceless pool. So, insofar as I'm concerned, that's the whole film right there, that moment. What about all the underground stuff? I thought that was... Dom, I would rather scuba dive with an oxygen tank full of quiz than put that out into the world. In the process of a collaboration, no one person has the final say. Even if they are a director, it's still about hearing everybody out, everybody having the opportunity to pitch their ideas, uh, and then, you know, have an open debate. My character needs a journey. You can't just be a vulnerable pippy. It's not a movie. Um, what about this? The most underground guy ever who lives in a stormwater drain, goes to the beach, turns into a pippy, and lives vulnerably ever after. See, I mean, that's a story we can all relate to. I'd rather be raped by a gaggle of silver bucks than put that out into the world. I'd rather get a head job by the rock muncher in the never-ending story than put that out into the world. I'd rather gargle a leader of my dad's cum. I'd rather get smashed till I look like a foal by Bert Newton. I'd rather rim my own father. I'd rather have a warm, moist towel facial with my own butt rug. I'd rather do two years in one of Josef Fritzl's sublets. I'd rather give Clive Palmer a rim job till the 3rd of September. Dom, I would rather eat my dad's asshole. I would rather be the soggy sayo for a circle jerk full of skexies. I would rather shoot up a school than put that out into the world. All in all, I feel like I learned a lot about the process. I particularly enjoyed Soundpost. Um, we were able to add another layer of clarity to the story of the film. Um, so, anyway, I'm really proud of where it's ended up. Um, I feel great. I, I think you guys will enjoy it. Meh. We made a thing. It's, it exists, so, whatever. I mean, watch it or don't. The underground life. It's me against the world, grubbing at my own destiny capturing the moment, clutching at straws. My only company, a lowly street pole with firm beliefs. People walk all over me. Man's best friend, not to this man. I am the lone wolf. I am one with the cockroach and beetle. Ouch, I stepped on a needle. What life is this? Ah, here I am. Man versus sand, a new start, like sands in the hourglass. Waiting for the tide to turn, will I keep my head above water? The tide of my life, where will it take me next? My family has forgotten me. Where are they? I'm cold and alone, waiting for the tide in my heart to turn. 
With the weight of the world upon me, I can't breathe. Anxiety. There's no escaping it. Vulnerability. Shallow dwelling sea creature with a rough exterior, a hard shell, find me, open me, expose my raw interior. My softer side, the big prize. See the pearl that is my broken heart, pry me open and flick my shiny bean. What does it all mean? Hot chips, my salty demise. Flapping wings as the angel of death surrounds me. I am seagull feed. I am bird seed. I am my broken heart that bleeds. Who am I? I am Pippi. I'm not just an actor, I'm an actor <sighs> producer. It's a film by Adrian Archer. It's uh, not, and Dom Nader. It's no. a Dom Nader, Adrian Archer production Dom, starring it's not, Dom Nader. No, it's not Doesn't, Dom. We haven't even spoken about what okay, all Dom, of the credits Okay, Dom, why are. don't I just kill myself? Why do you have to take the ball and run with I'm it? I'm not running the ball with it. I'm just saying maybe I should go shoot up a school because I'd rather do that than share those credits with you or at least not get recognised or acknowledged for what my contribution was. <laughs>